Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my very first video I'm ever uploading, and today we're doing the very controversial, whoop, it's backwards, Anastasia subculture palette. See how it works. I also try out my very brand new YSL foundation and the coveted ColourPop concealers. And we are gonna go ahead and just get right into it. Thanks. I'm gonna start by priming my face with the Beneficial Pore Professional. And then under eyes, the Smashbox Hydrating Under Eye Primer. And then my eyelids, I use the Urban Decay Potion in Original. And we're gonna start with eyeshadow today because we are using the supposedly everything falls out as you try to use it. Anastasia subculture so I don't want to use my new foundation and then have it go everywhere all over my face so we will see how this goes so here we go I'm gonna dip into dawn to go all over my lid that way maybe hopefully all the colors will blend out nicely I haven't used this before kind of making it up as I go let's do Roxy in the crease. Let's see how this. Hmm. My Roxy isn't too bad after picking something up. Whew. I've been eyeballing Axis. Should we give it a shot? That's not bad. I don't know. Kind of hard to see the dark blue on the dark brushes. Let's see how this goes. Pick up a little bit more. Whoo! Got real dark. And not in a good way. <laughs> All right then, I'm gonna take a packing brush and I think I'm gonna bring it in some and use the shade Untamed. Kinda blend it all together. Ooh, maybe not. Did not expect it to come out that dark. I think I'm going to take a Dawn again. Blend out some of that crease because it's looking a little too sharp. And not blending in very well. I'm going to try electric. This one. Right there. But... See how it looks without any setting spray. I usually use setting spray and shiny powders, but let's give it a whirl first. Mm, I can definitely feel flux of glitter falling on my face as I do this. So I'm thinking next round here in a minute, I'm gonna put down some setting spray. This way it's even on both sides. I don't know if you can hear my dog snoring in the background, but he loves to lay in here in the makeup room while I get ready, so sorry about it. Alright, let's take the Smashbox Primer Water. Literally just got a phone call in the middle of doing my video. That's great. Interrupting everything. Hmm. Not really seeing much of a difference. A little bit shinier. This palette's killing me. Try again. Hmm. I guess now. 
all this I'm gonna clean up with foundation and concealer and then after that I will go back and finish my under eye so on to foundation we go and I actually just got this haven't used this before my face isn't usually this red I am sick but I was super excited because today it was like a great mail day I got this in the mail I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills I got ColourPop concealer so I figured why not go ahead and just do it all in one day. So, here we go. And I always use, as you can tell, it's kind of dirty, my beauty sponge, because it's not the beauty blender brand. Start with one pump, see how that goes on the face. Make sure always get your ears, come down to your neck. So one pump, did not get my nose. Only got about here, but it is not feeling very heavy and it is literally full coverage and it does not feel heavy on my face, kind of like my Kat Von D does. I love my Kat Von D, but I've been starting to find other things that just work better. So, why not? Now, for concealer. And, let's see. Feeling like I should do the lightest one today. I ordered two just because I wasn't sure. We're gonna go with Fair 5, which I believe is the absolute lightest shade they have. I could be wrong. I just know I'm usually white as all heck. I always go over my nose with my concealer and foundation because my nose always seems to be more tan or red than the rest of my face, probably because of sunglass tan lines. So that's just how I keep that looking a little less darker than the rest of my face. I'm really loving this color pop, blending out quite well. Definitely doesn't feel heavy and thick and goopy like I bought the hard candies glamouflage yeah glamouflage and this is pretty like cakey heavy and it sits in my wrinkles and it separates really easy like I have bags I will always have bags for my life it's just something that seems to be in my life can't get rid of it so embrace it deal with it I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Contour Stick. Quite like this. Didn't Never cream contoured. Bought this for the first time. And here we are. My nose is always the hardest to do with this stick, though. Because you don't want to go too big on outlining otherwise you're gonna have a heck of a time blending Let's see how oh, that one's thicker than that one so we'll see how that goes going to take airspun if you don't have this you need this load it up so go ahead and bake the face here I'm actually 
actually while that's baking, I'm sorry, I'm sitting in an office chair that creaks. Going to use Ulta Brow Pomade. I used soft brown. It's kind of blurry. Soft brown. And going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I always do the little fade out part, I'm not sure what to call it, first because I find that if I pack on too much dip brow onto my brush and then try and do this later after filling in my eyebrows heavier, this just doesn't come out how I like it. That's how I do it. Everybody has their own opinion and everybody does their brows differently, but this is mine and how I do mine. And then I go onto the other brow, do the same exact thing, and then I fill them in. My left brow is always my favorite. It always has this arch that it's like judging you and your life decisions. It's absolutely fantastic. My brows, as close as I try and make them, they're always sisters. They're never twins because naturally my face doesn't have even eyebrows. And it took me a long time to accept that. But as soon as I accepted it and figured out how to work with it, they're pretty close almost all the time. He's just snoring away in here. See what I mean? It's always got that what do you do in arch. Love it. Big pink fluffy brush you can see. Setting powder come flying out of it. I'm going to take angled brush from Eco Tools. And we are going to dip into Rowdy, this purpley purple. I'm going to take it into my lower lash line. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. So we're just going to do this. Then I'm going to take nice pointed brush and hopefully blend that out. Holy crap. Holy crap. I mean, I know I like dark under my eyes, but god Damn. Alright. <clears throat> Same thing over here, otherwise it just won't look even. As much as I would love not to have this much pigmentation on my face. Pretty sure I just got freaking powder in my eyeball. My contacts are gonna love that. Alright, so going to not that brush. Not that brush either. Right in front of my face. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead and take primer water again, and I'm gonna use cube. Put it in my inner corner and under my brow bone. See how I feel about it. 
always make sure your setting spray is not pointed at your face. Probably a good idea. Is there anything even in there? Hello? Anything? Oh, there's like the tiniest bit of pink. I don't think you can see it between the shadows and the sunlight. <sighs> I'm not loving it. Like, I love that I can see it. I hate that how much it's building up for you guys to be able to see it on a camera. <sighs> mm mm, mm mm, mm. Okay, then. Lash Princess by Essence. Love this stuff. Alright, you see how I have like no bottom lashes? You ready? Ready. And just like that, look at the difference. I'm gonna throw on my top mascara real quick. Look at the difference. I don't even know if I want to throw on falsies. I'm kind of really loving my lashes right now. I think I'm gonna leave out the falsies, holy crap. Mm -hmm. Maybe next time. I'm loving this mascara very much. All right, I think I'm going to take this blush here. I think I'm gonna take the purple. Cause why not? Why not? Why not? If I can get it open. Nice purpley blush. And then I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Unicorn brush and Summer Snow Cone. Mm -hmm. Easily probably my favorite. I don't know why. Didn't think I'd use it very much. But, definitely love to pile it on my face. So, Ulta Beauty had their sale during National Lipstick Day. This came with any purchase of anything lipstick, so we're gonna see if a lip primer makes a difference. For a second there, I thought it was ruined because it was already pushed out. Let's see. Mm. 
Well then. Go ahead and put that on. I've never used a lip primer before. I've had foundation on my lips. I've had concealer on my lips, but I've never done a primer. It dries. It's not sticky, so that's a good thing. I really just want to use Jeffree Star's breakfast at Tiffany's because, well, that's my name, and Tiffany color blue is my favorite blue, and why not? Why not? And it smells so good. So, we are done with everything, and I think since I'm not really going anywhere, I'm just going to use my Pixie Rose Water and, what is it, green tea. I love this stuff. I use it on days that I don't wear makeup just to give my skin a nice little glow. It does, however, unfortunately mine doesn't have a very fine spray. I don't know if it's just mine. So, that is everything. But, I do have to say, I did get a little setting powder on it, so don't look at that. I didn't have as much fallout as other people I've seen. Like, Dawn had a decent amount of kickback right there, you can see. I didn't have as much. I'm gonna see if taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that comes with it right now makes a difference, or if I just didn't get that bad batch they talked about. Let's see if this makes a difference. See? Okay. Tapped it. The brush is coated. I don't have that much. What was another one? Dawn. I don't want to mess with Dawn. How about this one? New Wave. Didn't have as much. Um, let's try this in. How about Destiny? Tap it. Oh, well, that's coated and not that much um, 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 um and I think fudge was one I saw somebody do so we'll take the other side of the brush and see um that's a normal amount of fallout to me for most palettes like look at the brush it's kind of hard to see so there's the brown <laughs> it's hard to see in general green well, my hands are now coated on it because there is a lot of pigmentation, but I don't think that my palette, quote unquote, has the same problem everybody seems to be having. Blending, eh, a little bit difficult. I mean, it is very pigmented. I don't, this is my first time using the palette. I'm no way an expert compared to a lot of these other people. Had a little bit of problem not gonna deny that this pigment I'm loving it it is very shiny but over here you don't really see it it could be the lighting I do love the shiny pink so I don't think I'll be sending mine back like everybody's saying they're gonna do with theirs because honestly I love the colors in it and I just I really like it I don't think it'll be an everyday palette but I think it'll be a fun one it's got some nice purples and blues and greens and I like fun colors so yeah thanks for watching <laughs>